Hello, art students, and welcome to another week of Artist of the Week. Um, this week, we are going to be looking at another contemporary favorite of mine. Um, this is Scott Listfield. He's contemporary, meaning he's alive and working, um, probably as we speak. He lives out in L.A. and works and paints out there. Those of you who were in my class last semester as we went into quarantine um, might be familiar with Scott because he took the time out of his day to actually zoom in with us for about an hour last year, um, which was an amazing opportunity to get to know him and chat with him and kind of hear his story and then ask him questions. But Scott is a painter. He's American born, I believe on the East Coast back in 76. He paints with oil paint, um, and then for those of you in Mr. Grosvenor's class who want to see some tie in here, he actually maps out and kind of works all of his paintings out digitally beforehand. So that way he knows exactly where and how he's putting things in. Um, his paintings, and I pulled this from his website there, his paintings feature a lone exploratory astronaut lost in a landscape cluttered with pop culture icons corporate logos, and tongue-in-cheek science fiction references. So as you look at Scott's work here, um, one of the things I'm going to have you do is find a piece that resonates with you. And so hopefully you can come across something that as you look at it, you're like, oh, that reminds me of this, or that connects into something else. And so that's something Scott's a big fan of. So his most recent body of work um, is titled This is America, and so he took this astronaut figure that he has and he took him out to all of these iconic American scenes. So this one's Purple Mountains. Um, we've got the astronaut there just at that perfect time of sunset to paint those mountains purple. And you'll notice that this was painted this year in 2020. So Scott puts out a lot of paintings, um, and his social media is a fun place to keep track of him. Recently, we have the, the newly formed or uh, declared Space Force, and so one thing that Scott does is he has this beautiful way of taking kind of contemporary or current issues and then wrapping them up and putting them in a spot where this astronaut would be stumbling across them years in the future. So the astronaut moves as kind of this sole um, solitary figure. He's the only character that most of Scott's paintings have. Every painting has this astronaut somewhere in it. Um, and so Scott uses this figure and uses like the idea of weathering and things being aged and abandoned and forgotten um, and then has this astronaut character move through them. So we've got the Uncle Sam there from the World War II poster revamped for the Space Force. This painting titled Hoover Dam um, I feel like is a good way of visualizing kind of where we're at as a country. Um, I mentioned that Scott deals with pop culture, and part of that is responding to what's going on in the world um, that you live in. And so Scott's living in America right now, where we seem to be um, more divided than we have, at least in my lifetime. And so we've got the Hoover Dam here, which is a, a feat of engineering, and we can see that it has both been um, neglected to the point that it's crumbling down, but also tagged with the This is America. And you'll also find that one thing that we learned, or that I learned from talking with Scott, is that he um, includes the, the name or the tag of one of his best friends from um, college who passed away. And so he includes that in all of his paintings. So if you see some like recurring imagery, there's meaning to that to him. And so this one is a, a 2019 piece, but it's the astronaut there looking out over the Grand Canyon with the helpful sign saying, don't fall. But he creates these paintings in a way that, for me personally, strikes on this feeling of nostalgia, while also summoning up this concept of like a a lone survivor exploring through um, an otherwise abandoned place. And so it's 
as someone who personally has been to the Grand Canyon, it's kind of eerie placing this character in that scene. And so the last one I'm going to show you here is one of my personal favorites from Scott. This one's called Shattered Moon. And we can see that something big happened in the sky there in the background and the astronauts um, only giving it a, a passing glance as he continues his exploration. So your task for this week, I'll move my face out of the way, is we've really got three points that we're looking for. So each of these is going to be a sentence or two. Um, you should have a minimum of three sentence response to our Artist of the Week. But I want you to go look at more of Scott's work. I'm going to post some links for you to check out. You can also just drop over to Google and find him. Um, that's Scott Listfield. But look more of Scott's work and find a piece that resonates with you or find a piece that speaks to you. Um, what is the title of that piece? Is going to be kind of our first chunk here. And then how does Scott's work engage in current events? Um, how does he, as an artist, make commentary on what's going on? Um, and then what are you thinking about when you view his work and what are you feeling? So we're really, um, as we progress into this year, we want to start to spend the time to internalize some of these works. And so I want you to just take a moment to reflect out what you're thinking and feeling as you see that. And this assignment will be posted for you, and it is due Saturday.